ladies and gentlemen, we got another disaster hitting the fan. It's an everyday situation out here. Ubisoft was caught stealing once again for the billionth time. <laughs> and we of course have the Japanese politician chiming in. He's trying to cancel the game in Japan because they are disrespecting their culture. And Ubisoft is like, Yasuke uh, was LGBT, they made him gay. They said that he was black and gay. That was his biggest achievement. That's what Ubisoft said Bruh. actually, right? And we said it multiple times. Okay, if he was in real life, if Yasuke was gay in real life, then okay, makes sense, right? But he was not. And Ubisoft said that that was his biggest achievement, black and gay, being black and Okay. Bro, I cannot make this up, right? Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. And guys, you're not gonna believe what happened today, bros. Check this, roll it. Shift up CEO worth a billion. First to send in one week, 10 million. Rocksteady free sucking ass. Kyle Grassroots, it don't touch grass. 80,000, not so small. Stolen art, they had the gall. Ubisoft says you're just a racist. Call people bigot on a regular basis. Not so secret, gay agenda. No alcohol, says this bartender. Game pass price increases. Trouble Apex Battle Pass said make it double. How now, Browns out, took a Babylon's fall. Concord pre order. Task too tall, scam crypto. Lol, cow boogie fake cancer. Dragon Age written by a gender mancer. Sony employee loves fable, says pounded snatch makes you disabled. Shadow band DEI detected, Google affected, who is elected, quick fix index after attention, disbelief, suspension, apprehension, fat, ugly, boring, and stale. In comparison, you're fair. Crunchyroll lock comments, no feedback, you own nothing, take it up the butt, bear back, Blackstone, Blackrock, DEI, manga profits about to decline. No thanks to queer propaganda, I'm a sad panda on a veranda, woke, yes, arrest, yes, rest. Relief toys cannot create, so they must destroy them. Want money for existing, but we're not gay, no pay for fisting. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, cut it, cut it right there, cut it right there, time out, time out. Pump the brakes, pump the brakes, shout out to the homie Kyle. And guys, check this out. This is Asman Gold, and then I gotta show you what happened after that, okay? Check this. Senator in Japan has started investigating Assassin's Creed Shadows for tampering with Japanese history. So, I've actually heard a lot about this. It seems like- it seems like Ubisoft seems like they fucked up. Let's just <laughs> say that. So, this is what's kind of funny about this. The katana Man. and Yasuke's mask, or even the artwork from the game. So this is the artwork here. You guys see this? Yeah. Doesn't it look exactly like the sword of Zoro, a character from One Piece? And then are those the exact same symbols? So it's got the K, the upside down Y, and then the box with the shit in it, and then like the one that kind of looks like a piranha plant. <gasps> no! This is re they're really treating this like a high school project. Y you know, disrespecting the Japanese culture, stereotyping the black culture as well, right? Like, getting so many things wrong. A and of course, like, destroying their history, stealing assets, right? First they stole from, like, a group in Japan, right? They apologized for it, but they said that we're gonna remove that from the, the game by patching the game. But we already have printed the, the physical, uh, physical stuff. So if you buy the collector's edition, we're still gonna ship that out, right? So... <laughs> Yeah, they did that. They apologized, and today they got caught doing that. And, and you're not even ready for what's to come. Oh, shit. Oh, if shit. you have seen this face before, you know where this is going right oh, now. Oh my god! Oh my god! You know where this is going. If you do, have not seen this face, well, guys, get ready for this one because apparently, I'll, I'll give you like a small context, right? This is the man that actually was behind, like. Uh, editing the Wikipedia like couple of years ago allegedly that's what is being reported not my opinion a and he was a guy that that apparently made Yasuke the true story of the legendary African samurai but it's apparently fictional oh, shit. Oh, and he edited from retainer to samurai basically Yasuke was not a samurai is being uh, reported right now okay not my opinion that's what is being reported right now and the internet is going in frenzy bro uh, you get ready for what's to come boys but check this so they stole that again? I'm gonna say it. I think they did it. Because I don't think these people give a fuck about Japanese culture. Why people crying? The reason why people are crying is because Ubisoft is trying to get social justice points. And I think the amount of examples that people have found out with it being inauthentic. For example, his boss fight, they start playing hip hop music. <laughs> and then like the experts they had oh were like God. fucking cuckoo crazy. Then they have the sword for the- Yo, I heard this. I heard this. Experts they had were like- Okay, so uh, this is the uh, associate professor they hired, right? The, the, the associate professor 
professor of Japanese literature, literature and culture. So she's the the one they hired uh, that, uh, 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 that apparently knew everything about Japan. And yeah, I, I guess they knew everything about Japan, right? They knew everything about Japan. Absolute insanity. And she says, I'm interested in investigating how gender sexual. Oh, there we go, Bumble Club right there. Oh, of course, like they had to hire her, right? It's what what's up with these suckers out here? Why are these suckers so infatuated with like s sexuality and orientation, bro? It don't even matter whether you like listen to 99% of the people. It don't even matter whether you're straight, gay, bi, LGTV or non LGTV, religious or not. Like we don't care. We don't care. You're religious, cool. You're not religious, hey, cool. You do you. You straight. Amazing! You not straight? Hey, cool! You do you. You wanna put your pee pee in poo poo? Yeah, you can do it. I don't need to know. You do not need to know what I do. I don't not. I don't need to know what you do. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nobody cares, bro. But these suckers care so much that that's their entire like personality right now. Apparently. Her first book was Tales of the Idolized Boys, Male Male Love in Medieval Japanese Narrative, University of Hawaii. I don't know, like, yeah, I don't know why I'm, like, trying to rhyme with this Bruh. one here. Like, I heard the, the homie Kyle song, so that's what... Uh, holy crap! What Fucking is going on? cuckoo. Yeah, which often depict romantic relationship between Buddhist priests and adolescent boys. There we go. Bumbaka! Too crazy. Then they have the sword for this guy, and it's from, like, One Piece. I don't care about the Assassin's Creed games being historically accurate or not. The point is that it's being done for a reason that people view as inauthentic. They're not upset about the inclusion of the character. They're upset that the way that it's the presented it. feels yeah. fake. And I've said this before. When this game comes out, Yasuke will not even be in the top 10 problems with this game shift up ceo worth a billion first yeah okay we gotta play this there but anyway <laughs> the, the homie kyle started spinning after that yo bro, bro brother please brother tranquilo papi chulo tranquilo there's, been, uh, there's backlash from japan because they were like yeah, well, this, yeah what are you doing like this isn't our history well, this is like when they when they <laughs> turned around and, and they were not was it cleopatra yeah and they were like you know saying well oh she was you know they made her black and they're like but she was probably greek like it wasn't you know well, yeah, so, uh, Yasuke, apparently, the guy who's pushing the narrative, this, this, this isn't apparently, yeah, this is right? a white dude. It's a white dude, the guy who's been pushing the narrative that he was this uh, great oh, samurai hero, and, uh, all these, all these outlets were, because Wikipedia got overwritten, right? That people went in and they tweaked Wikipedia to make, make him out to be this big deal. The, the reality is, like, everybody knows he existed, people don't know exactly what he, what did, he right? did. Some people yeah. thought he was, he might have just been a servant, and that was, that was it. Some people thought, you know, maybe he fought, but he wasn't samurai. Yeah, you know, we don't really know. There's not a lot of information on this guy. Well, anyway, this, this dude, this white dude apparently wrote a book full of historical inaccuracies and then linked it on wikipedia and then the media started running with the wikipedia narrative and it all came from this author trying to pimp his book so there's there's that drama but wait there's more oh my god there's more but wait there is more yo could you imagine like ubisoft billion dollar company right they have spent millions and millions of dollars making this game and they do crap like this they hire an activist and slap uh, the label of hey professor that, that is a professional at knowing the japanese history and they hired an activist they're letting activists make our games right now guys like suckers don't care suckers just want a good game bro like we just want a good game man that's it that's all bro like why you suckers trying to divide us all man they are the ones that are dividing everybody bro like gamers don't care like who you are like male female what your orientation is what your religious beliefs are whether you're atheist religious don't care like if you're a cool person to chill with to hang out with to talk to uh, to play games with that's it gamers don't care now of course there is racism that of course there is of course some people would be using this situation to be racist absolutely let's not even sugarcoat it but like generally speaking People don't give a damn. Gamers don't give a damn. We just want a good game. Y'all sick as are, and you are, are you are the one dividing us all, and then you label your audience uh, toxic, problematic. Yeah, Ubisoft just did that the other day, right? Like gamers are toxic, e -e -e -e, all that, right? Like what the hell? What we doing right now, bro? What we doing right now? And now it's like this, this uh, and now we find out that <laughs> Thomas Lockie. Uh, 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 yeah, he edited Wikipedia all the way back in 2015, and Ubisoft actually made this game based on Wikipedia's opinions. 
<laughs> they made this game over Wikipedia opinions. Holy crap, bro. Like, what is up with this, man? Damn. Apparently, crap. Ubisoft stole a flag from a Japanese historical reenactment group and used it in the that marketing well. for this historically inaccurate game. That is well. Oh, my gosh. I, 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 I can't. See, this thing just needs to... Kill at this point in time, <laughs> I don't think there's down. any save in this one. Oh, if only, the Japanese, if only the Japanese had a word for uh, committing self-deletion. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like, well, the media, the media is going to be like, they're going to try to push this thing with a... Tranquilo, papi chulo. Tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Time out, time out. All they got. Guaranteed yeah. when it releases. Because hundreds of millions of dollars. Like, this is another AAA title from uh, a studio that's hurting right now. Hundreds of millions of dollars are on the line. Why do they push so hard to demonize gamers who criticize this stuff? Because these AAA titles cost hundreds of millions of dollars, and they spend some of that hundreds of millions of dollars on advertising on <coughs> gaming sites. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's as mm -hmm. simple as that. And then we've also got, you know, the uh, kind of the, the, the wild card, which is these bottom feeding journos that don't get paid enough to give a shit, just causing as much damage as they can for political points and fist bumps and social media clout. So there's a whole lot of issues going on here. I don't know how the game's going to do. Apparently, the pre-orders are good. I don't I don't care. This is one of those things where, like, I don't care about the game, but the drama around it is absolutely fascinating. So let's try to make sense of what's going on. And I'm sorry we don't do daily Assassin's Creed Shadows yeah. videos over here. <laughs> you know, so you'll have to bear with us. We're trying to play catch up. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. views and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, I'm, I'm taking it at face value. I can't verify this. So if, if yeah. this turns out to be untrue, don't shoot the messenger. But yeah. it's coming from Manga Lawyer. They said... Uh, allegedly this is allegedly right but but here's the thing though the reason a lot of people are not believing it is because of we're seeing what's happening in front of our very own eyes uh, with ubisoft ride and the situation the drama that's going around and, and secondly we have seen people uh, actually go ahead and change history on wikipedia from retainer to samurai to samurai to retainer like sickers have been doing that like left and right like we've seen that so now when stories like this comes out people are more inclined to believe it but here's the thing though it's allegedly okay it's a rumor for now i would say it's more than a rumor let's just say it's a leak it's a it's alleged it's not 100 percent confirmed but that's what's going on right now, man. Saying Thomas Lockie, who is responsible for Japan's major deception about uh, Yasuke, was caught editing Wikipedia since 2015. He has since quit social media and claimed he will never play Assassin's Creed Shadows. Portrayed as a hero by the media, he is now seen as Japan's biggest historical scammer. Damn, homie. So yeah, he said uh, all source information that referred to academic academic papers. So he said they, they deleted the papers because he would go into, I guess, the Wikipedia articles, as I understand it, and link to his 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 quote unquote historical book, the Black Samurai who survived Hanoji. Is it Hanoji? Uh -huh. I don't know. He said, "Thank you for su your support over the years. Due to hate mail connected with Assassin's Creed, which I have nothing to do and have no intention of playing, but but meant to do with, I think it's supposed to be. He's a writer, right? I have nothing to do, which I have nothing to. Do. I don't know. Maybe you need to unlock some." some fetch quests, uh, and have no intention of playing, but many people seem to think I'm responsible for it. I'll be freezing this account. I hope not forever, but who knows? So, again, as I as I understand it, it's coming out that he basically used this situation to promote his book. Yeah, and a lot of people ran through. with his book as being the definitive right. source of, of uh, you know, uh, Yasuke being this great, important samurai. Now, Japan started a petition to demand that the Nihon University and Thomas Lockley, Lockley or Lockley, correct the misconception of uh, Yasuke. The truth always <laughs> wins. So Japan start. Okay, no, that's like a general stuff. But is there like another petition? I'm assuming like this is a secondary, or maybe like this is the same petition that that is going on. I don't know. This is the petition. They said there's from Japan. From Japan. Okay. There's widespread misunderstanding of Japan's history. Uh, they said one of the main reasons is this book published by this Thomas Lockley. An associate professor at Japan University, a white dude, by the way. Uh, he right. seems to admit that it's not fact, but his own prediction. He, he talks about as much. Holy crap, so this seems like a secondary petition, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, because the... <laughs> pump the brakes, though. Pump the brakes real quick. Because the first petition was talking about some different stuff. Almost similar stuff, but a little bit different, right? Because uh, uh, they were talking about disrespecting the Japanese culture and all that. This is talking about the same thing, but it's also adding another layer of this man being caught... Uh, to be like changing Wikipedia stuff and he just made the entire thing of it Yasuke and all that right man like could you imagine listen man forget about everything for a second Yasuke was a real person man like whether retainer or samurai doesn't really matter uh right to me at least uh right but he was a real person man and ja Japan uh, I mean like Ubisoft has done him so dirty bro 
this is disrespectful on so many levels. I, I, I'll say it again, like, if he was gay, then okay, makes sense uh, to make him gay. It's like the same thing, right? Like, for example, uh, let's just say you watching the video, you're a straight dude, right? A and you do something amazing in your life, and then Ubisoft turns around, they make a game on you, you're in heaven, you're chilling, you're like, hey, mama, see, I told you, mama, one day they will talk about me. They will make a game about me. They will talk about me. And Ubisoft is about to make a game on you, so you're like, see, Ubisoft's making a game about me, but uh-oh, they made him gay. You, you, have, you feel what I'm saying? And Ubisoft says that that is your biggest achievement. And same goes, like, whether, let's just say you're watching the video, you're gay, and you do something amazing, Ubisoft makes the game on you, and instead of uh, you, uh, they making them making you gay, they make you trans in the game. Or straight! Straight! <laughs> right? Like, you, you, well, bro, like, for, why you care about my sexu sexuality like that, right? That's the point here. Why y'all suck is doing that crap? That is insanely disrespectful to Yasuke, man. And of course, more so than that, uh, insanely disrespectful to the, the black culture as well and also to the Japanese culture they're disrespecting everybody I would even go as far as to say that bro like they're disrespecting the LGBT crowd they're disrespecting the black homies they're also disrespecting my Japanese homies they they dis they're like okay one two three Ho thankfully they did not do one two three and to the four Bruh. in before we find out th they also are disrespecting another group as well then it's gonna be like one two three and to the four right like Damn, homie, like, damn, bro. As if there were facts. So basically, it's he's he's taking some liberties with history, kind of like Hamilton, which also had rap in it. You know? Yeah, right, right, yeah. Um, Hip hop, huh? If this continues, the petition says the history of Japan will be established overseas in the wrong Oof. way, so we will collect signatures and ask Japan University and Mr. Ro Rockley to respond. Oh, um, says that they're they're sincere about Japan's history. They should be concerned that predictions, I'm, I'm saying speculation, probably are not based on documents and will soon spread as fast. Damn, he got... Kind of what was going on, yeah, right? Was... Damn, he got Japanese homies crying out there, bro. Like, what the hell, bro? Like, yeah, like, this is... <laughs> The media, yeah. Uh, yeah. So because of because of that, because of his book being cited, apparently everybody is running with his his speculative work as being a, a work of a historical accuracy because something 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 university something 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 change it on uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, so now the whole the whole narrative is kind of coming unraveled again, as I understand it. God, that what is up with that face? That's that Don't Netflix know. show. That's crazy. That looks like uh, Animal Crossing in real life. That's my face most days when I look on the internet. I'm on Twitter. I'm just, <laughs> just like, like, what, what the, the hell? hell? Pretty much. So, so Bounding in the Comics has an article here. Backlash from Japanese players prompts national politician to investigate cultural theft of Assassin's <laughs> Creed shadows. So they said, oh, yeah, there are actually, God. there are politicians looking into it. Crazy, One of uh, two members hmm, of the independent party to protect people from NHK, a party whose platform is built on opposing the government's broadcasters, TV, all the mandatory licensing. Okay, whatever. On July 11th, they retweet a post from a fellow Japanese Twitter user summarizing the various issues local players have had with Assassin's Creed Shadow's presentation, such as how some of his buildings feature Chinese. Yeah, I did know that. Chinese architecture and a game is supposed to be a historically accurate representation of feudal Japan. Or how a lowly servant can be seen sitting on the same level as Nobunaga himself. When I was a kid, I, I saw the, the game, um, the ambition game, right, for NES, and I thought it was Noah, Noah Bunga, like Kawabunga. <laughs> no, I was like, no. Noah Bunga's ambition? That sounds pretty awesome. Noah Bunga, dudes! Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stop writing history! He's the most radical samurai Quick, ever! Go out to Wikipedia and change it! So it's like, so well, I thought it was like Ninja Turtles, right? It's like Kawabunga. Kawabunga. No fact! Anyway, it's yeah, go on Wikipedia and change it. I guess this is gonna be a living meme, right? Like, oh, you don't like it? Go ahead, change it on the Wikipedia, man. <laughs> Yo, Ubisoft, honestly, man, like, what y'all suck is doing right now, man? Like, damn, Can you bro. Noah Bunga! Oh my god, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a game called Noah Bunga, and he's gonna rap. Okay, there you go. And we're gonna I, say- I, I gotta say thank you all for the drama, though, Ubisoft, but like, holy crap, y'all suck is be dividing everybody. Y'all suck is are the biggest racist that they're out there, man. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it, bro. I'm just gonna say it how I see it, bro. Like, uh, yeah, like, they, they are the ones that are super racist towards uh, the- the- the black culture and more so than that to the Japanese culture as well. They are the ones that are. Hey, this is actually what happened in Japan. He raps. Uh, alongside the retweet, politician made a request for opinions from the general public. Yada, 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 yada. I mean, this goes on and on. Like, everybody's following this thing. He raps in Japan, bruh. Day by day, blow by blow. But the long and short of it is Japan has noticed, right? They're not, they're not real happy, but it, it gets better. It gets better. 
This is coming. They apologize for this, not the other thing. Right. Okay. So this is coming from comic book resources. So now this whole thing has been, I mean, this has been snowballing for a couple months now. This yeah. even hits comic book resources, which normally would be a website. They'd be like, oh, those bigots and Nazis don't like the historically inaccurate black no, samurai. Historically What's wrong with accurate. them? Wikipedia said so. They should. They the should. guy who wrote the book said so. He's my new OC, no, Noah Bunga. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, here comes Noah Bunga. No Bunga. Yeah, she got no chill. She got, yeah, and whatever happening, oh, oh, it, it was on the Wikipedia. They changed the Wikipedia, right? She got no chill, bro. Do, 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 it's like a Samurai Ninja Turtle. Yeah, oh my god, that'd be awesome. So, anyway, this is, I'm gonna butcher this. Okay, let me try this. Sekigahara Tepo Tai. Did Sorry if we got it wrong. We don't speak Japanese. Noah Bunga, dudes! No, uh, <laughs> Okay, a, ja a Japanese historical reenactment group has stated Ubisoft's recent apology yeah. for the unauthorized use of its flag and concept art for Assassin's Creed Shadows was not good enough. The group wants the developer to remove images of the flag from art uh, from its art book for the game. Wow. wow, I didn't know this happened. They said, yeah, they had uh, their flag in the Assassin's Creed Collector's Edition art book. Yeah, they can't exactly remove that. They already put. Did they already release the book? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, well, I think that yeah, are... yeah, this is the one that I was talking about earlier, right? Oh, uh, they are really, really surprised right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, I, and I don't believe, I don't blame them, right? Because there's so much that is going on right now. And they, they apologize. They said that they're going to remove it from the game. But of course, they have physical copies of this game, right? Physical collector's edition. They have already printed it out. So that that's the one they're not going to remove. But, but we apologize. We have made this game based on Wikipedia, guys. You know? E -e. Already, they're probably going to, to press because, right, it takes a couple months to, to print this stuff, right? We've asked Ubisoft to remove the image from the collector's edition art book. I'm not sure this will be possible. I've contacted Ubisoft through their support. Through their support. Yeah. Ubisoft's apology post originally appeared on July 8th on the official X count. God, all this stuff has happened and I have not been paying attention because yeah. I don't give a shit about this game. But if it was called Noah Bunga's Radical Ambition, I totally would play it. Uh, the developer confirmed that it used the flag in two instances of concept art. Besides the flag featured in the physical art book of the collector's edition of Assassin's Creed Shadows, Ubisoft realized, or revealed it will discontinue it moving forward. Yeah, but next to the, the bottom, they said, um, we've, been, we've been notified that the two incidences about the flag that have been used without permission and publicized in concept art for the game. We were given the opportunity to apologize to the group and they accept it, except for its inclusion in the collector edition art book. The artwork will not mm. be used or distributed beyond the state. Yeah, sadly, guys, sadly, we still gotta, you know, we apologize, but sadly, we gotta drop it. But guys, I'm not sure if you actually saw this or not. Dr. Disrespect, we got an update on the Dr. Disrespect story. You probably heard him admitting stuff, right? Uh, some of you think he's innocent, some of you think he's guilty, right? But now we got a lot more stuff coming out about him. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.